Hello people, Gen and Polismata here. Today I'll be showing you how to install games that were dumped with my dump tool to your PlayStation Vita or PlayStation TV, running Henkaku, of course. So if you didn't watch my previous video, I uh, dumped uh, Ridge Racer to my PlayStation Vita, and now I'm going to show you how to install a game that was dumped. Basically, I'm going to install Ridge Racer. Uh, to my console. To do this you'll need a PlayStation Vita or PlayStation TV running 3.60 and Henkaku. You can find a link to Henkaku below if you don't have it installed. Uh, if you have it installed well you know what to do with that. You're going to need a game that was dumped with my dump tool. As I said I am going to use Ridge Racer which I dumped in my previous video and or if you don't have that you can find it in <coughs> places that I will not link to because that would be illegal. And finally you're going to need my dump tool installed. My dump tool will be linked down below in the description. It is just a VPK file. Just install it through a Vita shell or a molecular shell. If you have issues and it doesn't install you can try enabling unsafe mode. Uh, I always have unsafe mode on so yeah. If you don't know what you're doing ask around before uh, doing stuff that you don't really know what you're doing. Installing my dump tool is okay, but be careful what, with uh, what you do. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin. So, this is my PlayStation TV. Uh, I'm just going to enable Henkaku because I hadn't done that uh, when I recorded this. As you can see, my recording quality was in improved quite a bit since the last video because my HDMI capture card arrived, so I can use that to record video of my uh, PlayStation TV. So, first thing, I'm just going to open Molecular Shell and show you uh, the game where to put it. So, put the directory, the um, folder of the game inside UX0 and my. If you don't have that directory, create it. So this is uh, the game that I dumped in the previous video. Just open that up and you'll see the files of the game. So just put that there and yeah, just transfer that over. So next open my dump tool and you will want to select the second option. So install game from folder. You can also install updates in the LC. So you can see that the only game I have is that directory that I showed you, which is Ridge Racer. If you get the game from, so just press a circle to start, if you get the game from uh, sources you don't trust, don't install it, because some people might try to break your console. Uh, my dump tool does scan for malicious code, but being careful is good, I guess. So installations should be quick, as, the, as my dump tool doesn't copy files over, it moves them. Uh, this is good because you don't, it means you don't need twice as much storage to actually install a game like you would with a VPK. I know there are ways to install a, a VPK without needing twice the storage, but it's less convenient. This is much more convenient. So I'm just going to open up Ridge Racer and show you the game being actually played because why not? And um, yeah, please do keep in mind that. Uh, I didn't actually know the controls and well let's just say that using a touchpad isn't the way that I would recommend for you to actually use the touchscreen but PlayStation TV Life and this game seriously these menus piss me off they're just terrible I know this wasn't meant for the PlayStation TV but seriously it's 100% uh, touch screen. Even on a PlayStation TV I don't like, uh, even on a PlayStation Vita I mean I don't like those menus. So yeah I was using the DualShock 4, at least I have a DualShock 4 with a DualShock 3 that would have been painful because I would have to use the uh, the touchpad emulation using the analog sticks and let me tell you that sucks. Really, I've used a DualShock 3 in the past. I don't own a PS4, 
but I got a DualShock 4 just for it because <laughs> it is a terrible terrible experience to use a DualShock 3 with the touchpad uh, the touchscreen I mean it's just bad so as you can see I picked the wrong country the first time and then I went and picked Portugal because that's my country but yeah I didn't actually take a look at the control scheme so is it scheme? I have no idea how to say that the controls I didn't actually take a look at them so I didn't know uh, I didn't remember what controls uh, to use and there's another thing that's that I haven't actually played this game a lot so yeah quite frankly it was bad just bad one thing that I don't like about this game is how online focused it seems to be and well you know that the PlayStation Vita is basically a dead handheld uh, kind of, I guess. It has a lot of great games, or a few great games, I guess. It has great games, let's say that. But, well, let's just say that the 3DS is far more popular. And I tried to go online once in this game, and it didn't actually find me a, a match, so... a match, a race? So, yeah. So I was uh, I entered the menu to see if there was an option to actually look at the controls, but there was no such option, and I thought the uh, yeah, and I got the uh, buttons wrong at first, so I had a light start, and don't forget that I don't really know I didn't f remember how to drift, and I absolutely suck at this game for a number of reasons including lack of experience. Really, I haven't played racing games in a quite a while. I used to play a lot of Wipeout 2048, a lot of Wipeout Pulse, Wipeout uh, HD, but I haven't played much. Uh, and yeah. So that's about it guys. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button below, subscribe to my channel for more, and that is it. See ya!